Good morning and thank you for staying with us. And this is Off the Press on Plus TV Africa, where we get to review the national dailies and the headlines making the rounds in the dailies. And joining me this morning for Off the Press, I have Daniel Odukbe, a legal practitioner. Thank you, Daniel, for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure to be here. And as always, we have Femi Do Adegoke, a public affairs analyst. Thank you, Femi, for joining us this morning on Off the Press. Good morning. Let's see what's making the rounds in the national dailies. And we kick it up this morning, first with the Punch newspaper. Investment commitment declined by $60.99 billion in 2019, says the NIPC. And that you can find on page 36 of the Punch newspaper this morning. Buhari meets service chiefs. NSA, Monguno absent. Hmm. And also Army family just for 376 $120 linked to general. And manufacturing declines by 2.227%. GDP growth surpasses IMF projection. And APC fumes as PDP demands review of Buhari's Supreme Court victory. Certificate forgery allegation against president established at APS court at the PDP. And venture into farming if you are jobless, ruling party tells the opposition. Still in the punch this morning, Remo stars play player two killed as police disperse Shagamo protesters. Ondo declares today public holiday as Buhari visits. Four born to death after a do ritual killing. Or your local government crisis talks fail, case of John till April 1. 2023, Lagos APC backs Tinubu, says as governor qualified, and police detain Oshun man for allegedly defiling stepdaughter. And lastly, in a punch, we have Oshun Pana recommends abolition of single uniform middle school. Now, what should we bother on this point in the point? I think across all the airlines this morning is the issue of um, revising the the certificate issue of the president. Now, I want to talk about that because if the Biosa State Governor could be um, disqualified, the court ruled against him because of um, a falsification of, doc of documents by his deputy. Now, the, the president's issue of certificate has come to bear again. How do we begin to react to this, gentlemen? Okay. Well, <clears throat> um, like um, we've said, we need to build uh, a process system. The judiciary now, they are being called up again because of what happened in Bayelsa State. Yes. Um, Bayelsa and Imo State. Yeah, Bayelsa, yes. Imo State. State. The right. inconsistency in the, in, the rulings. in the rulings and the judgment. But personally, I feel PDP are just um, they're going on a wide goose chase. But well, they're the opposition. I mean, yes, yeah, but this is, this is not the kind of opposition that affects the people. This is more personal now for them. The court has ruled a, in favor of the president. Can they let us just move forward? And uh, well, we might have said, okay, the court has, um, the apex court has made a mistake. Yeah, I was just going to say, could that yeah. really have been an error? I mean, yeah, could it, could, an, it could. It could. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but it could have well, been an error. We have a legal practitioner yeah. with us here, so he's going to give us yeah. his... They could have ruled an error yeah. because of what we're seeing now. Yes. But dragging us back and wasting time is what I don't agree with PDP with. All right. Dana, do you think this is dragging us back or actually trying to set the um, record straight? Yes, I, I don't think this is dragging us back. I okay. think this is, is a big issue. There's a need for consistency, if you ask me. There's something in law we call stare decisis. Okay. It basically means that if a court gives a decision, you know, and then you, you and it's a superior court, in this yes. case, it's the Supreme Court, and then another court who's kind of lower to it, or in this case, the same court, is obliged to follow that same principle mm. as established as yes. long as the facts are on, on all fours. Okay. So if you have, so if in a particular case the woman has said, oh, for fortification, we are disqualifying somebody, then it builds on them to be consistent. You don't want to, that's one thing you want to avoid. You want to ensure that there is consistency. So if they have done, if that's been done before, I wouldn't say it's a wide good chase. There's need for consent. There's indeed a cause of action there. If the APS court has in, in one particular, because it, it's not amounts to inconsistency. If they're saying, hey, yeah. and then they're saying, be, be here. There. So yeah. it is important for us that they, they do this. And I think it affects us as a people. I think it is not, I wouldn't say it's exactly personal because, you know, you, 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 at the end of the day, you want, you know, you know, due process to be followed. You know, you want to, I mean, if, if the record is being set straight now, 
next time whoever because if you if you you know your back people say that you can two people cannot you know go and miss when it comes to a lie if yeah. the person that is saying it is not aware yeah. uh, the person that is being told that is not aware the person saying is aware you cannot falsify your document without your knowledge you, at least you know what you did so my point is it is important that the court visit this again. We visit this, and you know, um, let us get to the root of it. Let's let let so that it will serve as a deterrent going forward. That look, there's no room for anybody who has anything to hide. You know, who has done something. You know, let that. Absolutely. I think it's, it's good for us as people if 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 the court looks at it again. And I hope that you know the right decision will be reached at the end of the day. All right, and we'll go to the Guardian newspaper next at public hearing. Yoruba leaders, OK, Amotekun. And NSA absent as service chiefs meet Buari Kiyari. And still in the Guardian this morning, new growth numbers, stare controversy. Um, that's there's so much we have in the Guardian this morning. Now let's put on this a little bit. The NSA um, yeah. absent as service chief meets mm -hmm. with Buari Monguno was not present in that meeting. Um, yeah. There's been a whole lot of hula baloo and back and forth. Um, Kiyari, Monguno, the NSA, the mm -hmm. COS, and now Buari finally meets with the service chiefs. Yeah. And the NSA is absent in that meeting. What does this? I think it's. I'm not sure if it's the guardian. I think it's the nation that um, one of uh, the media aide to the president. Uh, I think he tweeted on his Twitter handle that uh, Mongono, that the NSA, yes. was not meant to be at that meeting. But the service chiefs. Yeah, that it was just the service chiefs and the president. But he is the head of the service chiefs. Well, I mean, why wouldn't he be in the meeting? Well, I mean, that's what he said. Yes. But having read the story, it shows that after the meeting, after the meeting with the president, the service chiefs actually went ahead, had another private meeting with uh, the chief of staff, Aba Kiari, which confirms what the NSA Mongono, Mongono said yeah. in his, late, in, in, in his in letter memo, that was yes. dated uh, December last year, yes. that the service chiefs should, cannot take orders from the, the COS. Chief of staff. So, but the challenge is now is even the executive, the president, the presidency, nobody's saying anything about this memo that we finally, that is finally in the open. They're not talking to the people, they're keeping silent, you know, and the thing is degenerating. And now, for people, we can have different insinuations to it. We can agree with what uh, Mr. President's wife said a few, few months back yeah. that they hijacked. The, uh, the presidency. Uh, pre presidency. So it's all playing in the open. I think someone needs to talk to us. The, the chief of army staff also, I mean, it, was, it made the, the rounds of the news last week where we were told that armies, I mean, that were meant to be in the office of the NSA were recalled and redeployed to other places. And now we're seeing all of this playing out again. Yeah. Like he rightly said, nothing, the, well, the, the BMO, the Buhari Media Organization, has come out to, to rebut that claim that the president is still in charge of critical affairs of the nation. But what does this? <laughs> say? I mean, um, Daniel, you want to say something I, to, about I, I this? I have a big problem with what's going on. I, and it's obvious that something is, at, 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 the, in, at the very least, something is, you know, something is wrong. I yeah. mean, like, like my, my, my friend here said, you know, they're not talking to us. Something is definitely going amiss with the presidency. They're not talking to us. See, see, um, so my, my challenge now is this, you know, you have, I've seen it, I mean, I've observed over time that, you know, every time somebody comes out to speak, or somebody reveals things to the public, the person always suffer for it. I mean, you know, they, they've not told us the real truth. We don't yeah. know what's really going on. But, mm -hmm. but I, what I, I've just seen so far is that, look, it seems the gentleman is, is, going, to, is going to pay for, for whatever has happened. Mm -hmm. And it's just, unfortunately, you know, we, this, is a, this is a government that is priding itself, so-called fighting corruption and what have you. <laughs> and then it's, it's, we are observing over and over again that anytime somebody comes out to let us know what's going on, or anytime, you know, there's somebody whistleblower, what, what have you, yes. they always pay a huge price. For it. For it's, it's, it's unfortunate, you know. I don't know. It's it's, it's a big. It's been a big, big, big letdown for me. All right, we'll press for time. But lastly, let's take a look at the headlines in the Nation newspaper. First headline this morning: Army clashes with General over seize 136 billion naira. Hmm. Uh, I guess that's crisis of ownership. Who's going to own that amount of money? <laughs> and CDS seeks security forces synergy. And Nigeria's economy records 2.27 percent annual growth. And this is an interesting one right here. Court years or your Argon sued April 1. And Aisha Buhari urges rejig of security structure. Aisha Buhari in the news this morning. PDP to demand Buhari's removal by Supreme Court. We were asked for sack of Oyetola 
Gandu J, Masari, Elrefi. <laughs> Jobless position leaders should join rice farmers, says the APC. And lastly, in the nation, Biyeti Allah, OPC, Khan, Islamic group, others back Amotekun. PDP demands the Buhari removal by Supreme Court. I mean, this, well, um, sometime on the floor of the Senate, sometimes um, weeks back, we, we had um, A. Yinaya Abaribe calling for the, the, the second of yeah. um, the president yeah, because yeah. based on security issues yes. that the APC administration rode on the heels of promising everybody security, yeah. which they've not lived up to. Yeah. And now again, we just said it's just a call by this cherry picking by opposition calling for um, the resignation of the sack of the president, whichever way they decide for this to go. I, I think okay. Yeah, uh, I agree. Uh, earlier on, we were talking about yes. uh, I agree with him 100% what we need to set, set precedents, get things done properly. Yes. But my position on this, why I said it's just a, uh, it's going to be a wide goose chase or waste of time, is because our judiciary is really not independent. And uh, there's always this saying, he who pays the piper dictates the tune. The presidency is in charge of the judiciary. We know that. And now, uh, look at what uh, PDP are saying now. They're going to challenge other state governors like Oshun State. They're going to challenge uh, Kaduna State. All this. So that's that's the that rather than be saddled with the responsibility of governance, then we're going to have some court cases all over again. And I will relate it to the case in uh, uh, Remo, the young man okay. that was shot dead. Yes. See, it's been one, one shot too many. Over the years, we've had the irresponsibility of the police killing people, and nothing has been done about it. We have insecurity in all levels, at all levels in this country. Insecurity. A young man who is a footballer, you don't know whether he's the breadwinner of his family. And when people protested yesterday, I had uh, over two people or two people or more also suffered the loss of their life. Yeah, during the protest, yes. For a peaceful protest. It's, the, the, this government is really, really no, not it for All right, me. Dana, just, just your, um, your, your path in short, this morning, the PDP <laughs> calling again for um, the resignation, the sack of, of, the, of the president. I, I think yeah. that, you know, the consensus is clear. You know, I know that the, you know, the full soldiers of the current administration will disagree, but the truth is that they've not performed. You know, yeah. they've definitely not performed. This, it's been a huge, huge disappointment, disappointment yeah. you know. So um, I think that it's, it's good, you know, if this is the way to go, Let's let's take a shot at this. Let's 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 try everything. Whether the judiciary is going to do the right thing or not, let's just let's just try. I mean, the judiciary should do the right thing. That's the right why they are the judiciary. I mean, yeah, yeah, there so, should be no interference. You know, yeah. Obviously, we know that they are not 100 percent independent. You know, yes. there's a lot of you know power play behind the scene. But let's just try. You know, you never know. You never know. Let's just give it all. You know, what we can. So I I I fully support the action of of both the APC and the PDP in this regard. Let them go go to the court and keep asking questions until we get it right in this country. We have a long way to go. There are so many issues. You know, you know, in, in facing us as a people and you know we are not just serious so, so if this is the right i mean people are protesting like you rightly said people are protesting and then they are losing their life yes. so if we can if that one is not safe at the very least let us try the, the option of the court and let's see what the court will come up with hopefully they will get it right all right legal practitioner daniel Lupe, thank you very much for joining us for all the press and also public analyst femi idowu adegoke thank you for joining us for all the press You're welcome and that's so much we can take this morning on off the press join us again same time tomorrow on plus tv africa of the press good morning i am benny ark